because I get tired at some point I get burnt out. What do you do to ensure that you always have that energy? Um, wow. What do I do? I, I think just knowing that it's your job, maybe that's <laughs> enough to give you energy. That uh, it puts bread on your table. So, Fair yeah, because I mean, days are hectic and I teach in a very busy school, so you mm. just need to have energy. If you, you well, just drink water, I guess. Mm. Have a drink, then get mm. on with it. I think I yeah. do have that mentality of if you get paid to do something, just do it. Yes, yes. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, because you know, it can be very tiring to speak. Eh? You know, sometimes yeah. you feel like you I don't want to talk, like I'm exhausted. But like you said, you have to get, and I, I mean, like we're in the same, because I do a lot of speaking, I do a lot of consultations. Consultation is talk, talk, mm -hmm. talk. Um, yeah. yeah, you talk the whole day, you talk on weekends, there's live sessions, mm -hmm. there are workshops, mm -hmm. speaking engagements, radios, and there are interviews. You forever yeah. open your mouth. And so sometimes it can be very, very, very draining. But like you said, if you know it's your job, sometimes I think for us it's also about giving back. I mean, you are doing an amazing job as a teacher. And mm. um, I like that. But what do you like more about being a teacher? I think it's about changing uh, kids' lives, eh? It's crazy. I worked for a Quanta One school, so I'm not sure mm. if you're familiar mm. with those terms. What, um, what, what is that? What is that? Maybe explain for someone like me who doesn't know that. And as, um, you know, the schools are, 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 um, are divided into quantiles based on location, uh, based on resources and finance that they have. So your quantile one would yeah. be a low-fee public school. Um, Bailey okay. probably has, uh, normally in a township or a rural area, Bailey has okay. resources like technological resources. Kids are not paying school fees. Um, feeding scheme is there and all of that. So going up will obviously be techno technological advances, location, uh, finances yes. that they're getting from the government or fee-paying schools. So that's how you arrange them. So Quanta okay. One is like there's nothing. Okay. And kids are from very bad backgrounds. So knowing okay. that you get... Um, getting feedback from majority of the kids and like thanking you for teaching them or changing their lives because the only thing they want is to just get marks to get into university that's it so if you fail them or if they fail the subject that means they can't mm. get into university that means they can't get a bursary so they're doomed for mm. life basically in lame terms but yeah well, it's scary when you put it that way huh? no it's very scary but i think you know, I just started a YouTube channel, but I'm not going to do videos or stuff now. But I think after some time, if I'm able to talk and teachers, I mean, people don't want to talk about it, but teachers are failing kids. Ma are you yeah, 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 yeah. They're, well, they're not failing kids in terms of not giving them marks, but they're failing okay. kids in terms of not teaching. Like there's a high rate of absenteeism, especially in public schools. Um, there's high rate of teachers that go to school and not teach the kids. So mm -hmm. if you're doing that, remember if I'm saying the main goal for those kids is to get into university to change their yeah. parents' lives. So now if yes. they're not getting the marks, if the teacher didn't teach, that means the child will not get the mark. That means the child will not get the bursary. That means the child will not go to university. So they'll be stuck in the same environmental conditions. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's mm -hmm. ultimately the teacher. But if the teacher was teaching, was coming to school and going to class and do the right thing, that mm. child could have gotten 70%, could have mm. received a buzzery, could have gone to university, could have Probably. changed the parent's life. But yeah, I mean, there's a story for another day, but that's basically yes. what happens in those environments. So, but what are you intending to do with the YouTube? I mean, you've got a platform. Some people might be wanting to follow you. I mean, you can share the link for your YouTube on the comments. Um, if you don't mind, what, what are you intending to do with uh, YouTube? I think for now, it's just like your normal, up-to-date um, daily lives because of a lot of things. I mean, I'm still contracted to be a teacher, so we can't really talk about other things. So I'm not okay. sharing any of those conversations at the moment. Um, okay. But I think, I mean, I'm into property and investment and stuff. So the day I do leave the teaching sector... I think mm. I would have had um, enough conversations around that. I can't really 
um, yes. okay. dwell it's still, much. A, it's still a classified information at this stage. Someone is saying, JP says, teachers should start advocating for NS first. In metric, I didn't have that in for education is free. What do you say about that? You know what? Um, that information is there, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, we can assume that everyone knows about Nexus. I have an NGO um, that basically helps. Um, I mean, this was motivated because when I was still, I'm, I'm, I've moved to a Quantile 4 school in the suburbs, but when I was at the Quantile 1 school, I uh, got kids um, asking me to assist them with applications. So it was funny that they knew there was something like that, but the, the initiative to go to the internet cafe, if they don't have their own phones and basically apply, they don't see it as something that is possible for them. And it's not everyone, but um, it's like, okay, we know. It's like, I know there's a Mercedes, but I'll never get it kind of thing. So they know mm -hmm. there's a Nefsas, but how will I get it? But I think the NGO helped very much because we are applying for them. And now majority of the universities um, um, have no fee applications. So it's very easy for us to just use our internet. Well, that's what we did, use our internet and just apply for kids every Friday in different universities. Um, then also apply for NEFSAs. But would like in schools, they need to be a teacher that addresses it in assembly, always reminds kids, because that's what I do also in my own personal WhatsApp and TikTok and Instagram. Um, I post dates when NEFSA's uh, applications are open. I post dates even the, the closing date. So information is there. And another thing is, the reason I also post on platforms like TikTok, if you were to check my profile, it's because the kids have the phones. So it's not like 1994 now. They have the phones, but they're on TikTok making or dancing or having dancing challenges, mm. right? Mm. Whereas they mm. could be Googling information to know now, actually now UJ and mm. other universities, they've started taking in applications. So mm. in terms of that, I think it's just about talking about it and talking about it and talking about it and pushing the kids, allowing it, allowing them to know that it is possible. It's not just something that's there. It's not far-fetched. They know about mm. it. That one I can, I can tell. They just... It's like they're using their phones to do whatever, but they can't use their phones so, to apply for NEFSAs. So there's a high level of uh, distractions, basically. Yeah, I can say that, but I feel like now, I mean, there's so many criticisms about young teachers on social media, and I get that. I'm also like old school when it comes to dressing up and other things, but really young teachers are helping these kids because the kids are seeing that, okay, it's possible if I can have a teacher that's 21 years old, I mean, you get quest basic questions like, which university did you go, did you go to? How was it? They're so fascinated by all of that, um, okay. which you think how you should know about university. But it's not that. You still have kids um, who don't have anyone that has ever gone to university in their families. Mm -hmm. So these young teachers are exposing the kids to that. It is possible for you. We talk about our stories. Even the teachers talk about, I mean, I've got an FSS. I've got Funza Lushaka. Funza Lushaka is a teaching bursary. Um so these young teachers do talk about all of that information. So it does help in a way. I mean, if you mm, do have teachers yeah. in that particular school. So I think I like over time, we'll see how it goes. But you still have areas that we're helping. Um, I think we had a few schools that we had adopted. And it was so bad that, I mean, we're so fortunate to think everyone has data, but not everyone has data to do all of that. Mm, so it can mm, be so yeah. difficult to even apply. So, yes. I mean, we've adopted like two, three schools, but I think in a long term, we'll run a national program. But there's a lot of people that have NGOs and foundations that are doing it. But still, yeah. I think an emphasis to continue and just emphasize and sing about it. When they go on TikTok, they must see it. It must just not be about dancing yes. challenges. Yeah. So do you want to maybe share what's the name of your NGO? Maybe someone, you know, you never know who's who come across the content. And then you can you can just write your name of your NGO and what help do you need? Maybe someone is out there trying to assist you. What help do you need? I'm not sure if we lost Asisipo. Oh no. It might be the low shading. I don't know. No, um, no, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Um we are losing you. Okay. Um. I, I think. I think if she can hear me, uh, I was closing it up by saying that. Okay. Hello? As if you can hear me, I was saying that. 
what help do you need? Someone might be watching this and, and willing to help you. Um, Hello. What help do you need? Can you hear me, Asisi? Yes, I can hear you. I was saying to you, what help do you need? Yes, I can hear you. So our NGO is the life of giving. I'm not okay. sure if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. So it's, yeah, so it's the life of giving. So basically what we are doing at the moment, so since universities have started accepting applications, so we start by targeting universities that are for free um, since we don't have funding and stuff like that. So we apply just with this four ladies involved um, in the Life of Giving Foundation where we just are applying for the kids. Then um, we normally just need finance for um, universities that do need application fee um like your verts and other universities then we just apply for the kids that's it so we normally just at the moment um just seeking assistance with application fees but normally we just take out the money from our pockets and all of that but funding would be great so that we don't have to um do that okay someone who's um hearing uh you can reach out i mean she's gonna share the details on the comment sections and uh, you're more than welcome to reach out to her. She should share the, uh, if she's not, uh, uh, if she's comfortable, she can share the website also. And uh, maybe the email address that uh, some of you guys might reach her. I appreciate you, Asisip. I know that we digressing the Love of Giving Foundation. I like that. I even love the name. Hey, it's, it's actually interesting. Name. I can see so someone that... is asking, yeah, NEFS is for 50-year-old. Is it possible? No, it's not. I think the Where? maximum age. There's a comment oh, here. Yes. Trico. Trico says, and as far as for 50 year olds, is it, it's possible? I doubt. No, I think the max I might be wrong. It's either 35 or 25. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not going to lie. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I doubt. Yeah. I definitely doubt 50. No, 50. They, yeah. won't, they, won't, they won't finance you. I actually okay. had a question before you. <laughs> Um, you asked okay. about no, you, you, you can you can so you can ask um i think earlier on um i think i i, I touched on registering uh my properties on to uh, under a company rather so i wanted to understand the main process so i, I understand that of course you need um the attorneys to obviously um work on the paperwork and stuff like that but the main mm -hmm. process do i have to contact the bank um what i don't understand is is it just the signing away or it's more like i am selling the properties to the company and what will happen to the value if i bought the company if i bought sorry the property for example for 100 rand of course with the renovations and stuff like that let us just say maybe the property now is worth 200 rand so how does that work? Am I selling the property to the company for 200 rand or the initial price or the in initial amount that I bought it for? So, so typically what happens, the starting point is that I always advise people to go and do the credit assessment to know if they've got credit worthiness because it's all pointless to try to want to change the property while you don't have affordability, right? Then, uh, and the, the bond originator can easily help you with that, that process, right? Then, mm -hmm. I think then secondly is that then you, the bond originator can help you to do the, the reapplication. So then what will then happen is that they will cancel the bond on the other side in your name. And then thereafter, then, uh, the, then they'll do a new application in the company. So then there'll be, that would be that process, how, how it's done. So then in terms of the, the what do you call it? Um, I don't want to say price, but what is it? How is it? Quite let's good. say let's say I bought the property for 100 rand. Does it get yeah. sold or does it get moved to the company? With it, the depends. Same it, dep it depends on uh, what you're trying to achieve. Other people sell it, other, other people donate. But when it's a bonded property, you don't have a choice because you have to settle that bond. Then you might have to then, remember if the bank cancel the bond, they pretty much own the property. So then you have to reapply the, the, the bond. So you'll pretty much sell it. You'll be buying from yourself. 
it's unlike when it's paid up property. When it's paid up property, then you've got multiple strategies where you can yeah. move that property into the company. You can do a donation, you can do, can do a rollover, you can do um, the direct sales. So when it's a bond that is not yet your property, you, you mm. co-own it with, with the bank. So the bank has a say on what happens. So they will want their bond to be settled. So that's where the bond originators comes in. Then they tell the bank and say, listen, Mr. Bank, uh, ICC people wants to um, uh, cancel the bond and reapply the same time in this new structure so that banks understand that. And then the, they'll just then, if you still have a good affordability, because some people affordability changes, you know, you can have a property, you bought it last year, but six months later, you find that you don't even qualify for the bond. But uh, in terms of credit profile, because you may find that things have changed in your life. So that's why I always, before you even do that, rather do the assessment first. And the bond originator can assess you there for that for free of charge. Um, and then and then if you qualify, then, then they can do that process. What do you mean assess? Um, because I won't I be sure. I'll still be the surety, but um, am I not? Your pre-qualification. Pre remember... Remember that the company will not be having any form of fund finances. Mm -hmm. So you are the one who's going to stand for surety. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you need to you need to be having affordability. So the first point of contact in the whole process is the bank or what? No, bond originator. I'll, like bond originator will ideally help you quickly. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's um, the... yeah, I can link. I can if you want to do the process, I can link you up with um, uh, one of the guys I work with, and he can do the the assessment for you for free. They do for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a yeah. lady that um I, I I worked with with both properties, so I'll check. I'm just okay. I'm just yeah, I only do it around June. So I'm just okay. uh, just planning ahead, giving myself enough time to go through the whole process. But yeah, okay. then you can speak to her. That's fine also. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you so much. You. I appreciate it. Yes. All the best with your foundation. All the best with your teaching. And uh, good luck for those who want to touch, be in touch with Asisipo, the life of the giving foundation. So yes, just from there. If you want to give back, you're more than welcome to reach out to them, the Life of Giving Foundation. Yes, she's also a property investor. She's also an educator, which is amazing. A lady of multiple um, skill set. Uh, and then, yeah.